What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Carrie Hilson. Hey, what's happening, homie? This T.I.P., man. Yo, what's up? This Big Boy. Y'all know what time it is. Live from the West Coast. You already know you checking out Hard Knock TV. You heard? Yeah, what up, though? This is Common, and right now you checking out Hard Knock TV. You watching Hard Knock TV, you understand? Learn that you yach. Speaking of Rob Deerick, I saw on uh, your Twitter that uh, he said something about coming to Bama yeah. and going noodling. First of all, I'm going to call Rob Deerick out again. Um, he says, we're at the Saddle Ranch, which is a bar on the strip out here. He said, man, if I get a fourth season, I'm going to come out and go noodling with you. And I was like, I bet you won't tweet it. <laughs> Make it official. So he tweeted it, and now he's got a fourth season. And I don't see no noodling. What's up, Rob? I'm just saying. For people like me who might not know, what is noodling? Uh, basically, it's hand catching catfish. Basically, you, you, you go down, you know, under like um, boat docks, uh, boat ramps, or broken down piers, catfish bed under holes pretty much and when they're on bed they're really aggressive and they stay there to protect their bed so you can just stick your fist up under the hole and the catfish will grab will bite your whole hand and when they bite your hand you grab them from the inside and you pull them out it's all it's an old Native American way of catching fish for food but all the good old boys made the sport out of it and it's called Newland. So, um, so basically, it's just a real redneck ass sport that's crazy fun, dangerous, and funny as hell to watch. So, I'm trying to get Rob Deerdick out to do it with me. I mean, I'm going to do it regardless, but if he comes out and does it with me, that'd be pretty cool. Explain what Rotisserie Jesus is. Uh, rotisserie Jesus and Manatee Bacon. These things have been created on a tour, on the I'm Still Music Tour. Um, I'm on the bus with uh, the cool kids, Chuck English and Twan, and, uh, and Reggie and my homeboy uh, Newport, Lower Management, along with Mixmaster Mike and his family. And, uh, you know, it, it became a night where we wanted to go to the bar and get crazy. And I stood up on the bar stool, you know, and I stood like this. And they, they were spinning the bar stool like this. And Rich, Rich said, Rotisserie Jesus! Rotisserie The hard thing about this life. I gotta go change you. Stay tuned. Can you put back on what you had on? Oh, okay. What? Oh, hell no, dude. All right, just just to wrap up rotisserie, Jesus. Oh yeah, rotisserie, Jesus, my bad. Yeah. Just wrap up rotisserie, Jesus. It's it's a, it's it's a brilliant and hilarious, AKA. Bar stool spin. You know, anybody can do it. Just pull the rotisserie Jesus at any bar. You stand up on a spinning bar stool and hold your beer. <laughs> That's the rotisserie Jesus move. And uh, Manatee Bacon was probably just the absolute... We were thinking about the scariest thing a vegan could ever face. And that was Manatee Bacon. Oh, God. Anyway... Tour life. Oh, what's the next question? Uh, next question is, uh, since signing the Shady, have you gotten uh, a lot more Dub Gs? What's a Dub G? I don't know. I saw it on your Twitter. It's a, it's a dub oh, it's an average white girl. Average white girl. What's a Dub G? I made that up. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> Dub G's. Oh man, yeah, lots of them, man. They they uh they they pop up quite a bit, and uh, they think something's gonna happen, but it ain't. You know, I gotta drink a lot of JD to get with them Dub G's. Did you have any JD dub and Dub G's? Any Dub G's on the video set today? I like. We had a couple Dub G's. They didn't make the cut though. Yeah. Um, nah, man. Average white girls are the shit. You know? I ain't gonna hate on them. Gotta love them. They're actually the coolest people in the world. Average people are the coolest people in the world. But uh, Dub G's is just a good nickname. Represent Dub G's. <laughs> Can you pull over? I have to pee. <laughs> nah. I have to pee. Oh, you can hold Pull it. over! Alright, cool. Thank you. Uh, lastly, on your Twitter, I see that you're rapping uh, Slum American. What, what does that mean for people who are. Slum American is my company. You know? It's a company that I created out of a song that. I wrote, I got Slum American tattooed on the back of my legs a few years back so that if I was ever skating away from the cops, they could read the back of my legs. It says Slum American on one leg and Shittison on the other one. And it turned into a concept and now it's a record label and a, and a, uh, a clothing line that I'm partnering with Famous, my boy Travis Barker, and we got Slim American gear coming out, Rich, Rich, White Jesus, Slim American, hey I gotta go man, it was nice talking to y'all, Slim American, love y'all, holler, it's Hard Knock TV, I gotta get to work, peace. Stay tuned, this is the game of life, and these are the cards I've been dealt. Give you the real deal, live footage, and you can feel for yourself. It's uncut and raw, get over water since before the new world was in order. Embedded in places you dreaded and never thought of the corners, the streets of projects, the one bedroom apartments, the hood. I'm the voice for all of y'all misunderstood. It's because I'm hip hop. Maybe I was born from the struggle. Hustle and hover above the earth, observe the concrete jungle, and expose all lies. It will be televised. From the block, it's all lies. It will be televised. Revolution of the mind. It will be televised. It will be televised. It will be televised. Giving nothing but truth.